Hey, hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, it's a very busy day for me right now at the office, so I've had to lock my door to do this video. <coughs> Excuse me. I just noticed, however, while I was working, that I saw many Instagram follows, and that only happens when I do giveaways on my page, because people tell friends and loved ones to follow me, etc. It doesn't happen this fast as in people were just following me so i was like what's up then i discovered that a video has been done okay um before i started this video i prayed and i'm still trusting him to help me that the holy spirit should give me the right words um because i just want to do what is right okay <coughs> um first i want to say um juliana please don't do that crying thing Okay, the day you walked out on myself and Mama in July 2020, you came into the house angry, very angry, but you left crying. I'd never see you cry that way. Your hands were shaking. You said, Mama, I'm a bad person. I don't know how to do it. Teach me. How do I forgive? How do I forgive? You were pained about a couple of things in a couple of ways that failed you. But I apologized to you that day. I said, Juliana, I'm sorry. Give me a chance to make it up to you. July 2020, the day you walked out, the last time I saw you. And before you left that day, you wept in front of me and my wife. Because you know my wife forgives easily, saying, Mama, I'm a terrible person. What have I done? Teach me how to forgive. As at then, I did not know you had already talked to some people. So obviously, you knew what you had done. So you felt bad after I apologized to you. You said you were sorry. You were, your hands were shaking. Mama, I'm a bad person. Teach me how to forgive. So please don't do that crying thing with your fans, okay? Now to so the password thing that you are talking about. Um, I don't have any of your passwords, Juliana. None. I did not enter an agreement with you as your manager. So we didn't sign any contract, Juliana. I managed you as your dad. Okay? I signed endorsements with you as your dad. I manage you just like I will manage Esther Dugun if she becomes somebody in showbiz. And I'm not going to sign a contract with my daughter. Okay? Um, and all your passwords, I told you about them. So, you should be looking for the book or the books where you wrote your passwords. I did not open any page for you without giving you your passwords. What do I need them for? I was building something for you. I built your YouTube page for you. What your YouTube page looks like. The default thing in front of intro, um, your introductory video. The settings, the layout. I built it all for you. Your Instagram page, I built it for you. The layout there on your highlights, Juliana Olayode, I did it for you. You obviously don't know how to edit it back. That is why obviously you did an, a highlight that put A in front of J and you've not been able to fix it. I built that for you. I did everything for you. And I did not collect one cup off from you, Juliana. I started managing you since 2016, 2016 when you were written off the set of Jennifer's diary. Okay? Um... And since that day, Juliana, I managed you and you made millions. I mean millions under my tutelage. I did not collect one copper from you. I did not insist on any percentage. There were times you gave me gifts as your dad, first fruit, different things as your spiritual father. But I never charged you for any money you made in the millions that you made while I managed you because it was dad to daughter and nothing else but that um, so your passwords are with you go and look for the books or the book or whatever it is where you kept it 
Juliana, do you know how many emails I manage? Ministry, church, personal, do you know how many emails? Why would I be keeping yours? Okay, I don't have your passwords, Juliana. I know you say after this that I'm lying. I do not have your passwords. Please, I gave all your passwords to you. Go check where you kept the passwords. Okay, there was a day I was upset with you. And I changed your password to your boyfriend's password. Okay, I don't want to mention his name because he's a private guy. Okay, so and I, I don't know if you've changed that one again. Okay, and I told you, I sent you the message of the new password. So please go look for the books, the different places where you should have. See, when you walked out, I was hoping you would come back, but you did not. I hand stuff. I made a mistake and I acknowledge it and I apologized on Instagram. I made a mistake in January last year to have posted. Now, let me tell the world why I did that. You walked away in July from me and Mama who loved you and raised you because I made some mistakes with you, which I apologize for. You forgave me for. Your mother forgave me for. Um, so... Uh, I lost my train of thought there. I lost my train of thought there. What was I trying to say? Holy Spirit, please remind me. What was I trying to say? Okay, yes, I said you walked away. Yes, thank you, Holy Spirit. You walked away in July, okay, from me and Mama because of what I apologized for, etc. So, in my heart, I was hoping my daughter would come back, would be able to make it up, but you didn't. So, I still had access to your Facebook because I believe I opened it from my page or your page. I cannot even remember whose page you use. It's Juliana here after one and a half years. And you call me Timmy Lane. To my face, Juliana. No, I raised you. I raised you. I wasn't going to take that. I will be a bad father. Even if I'm no more your father, I would not take such an insult. And I told you, the recording is there. Juliana, you cannot come to my own zone and insult me. I didn't come to your house. If I came to your house and you insult me, I will chop my shame and go. You came to my own territory and insulted me, calling me by name. And I said I wasn't going to take that, that the security man should walk you and your sisters out. And that's exactly what he did. No finger. I didn't raise my hand on you. Thank God the proof is there. The security man did his job. His job as security is to protect me, okay, because you came harassing me. All your sisters began to shout, okay, and we, I told him to excuse you, and that is what he did. So I just want to state a few things clearly from what he did. Juliana, obviously you're in control of your Instagram. Why it went off for one month, I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue because it is independent of your Facebook. I've explained why your Facebook was unpublished. I didn't delete it. I kept it so that someday maybe you come back and we're in good terms. I hand it over to you intact. And I see that the following and likes have started growing again now that it's been published. So congratulations. Juliana, I don't know your Twitter password. I did not change anything. I don't know it. Please go and search for where it is. Um, what else did you say? Linktree. Was I the one that did Linktree for you? I cannot remember if I did. And if I did, I don't know the password. For your song, what was the name of that song again? No Disguise. I can't remember the password, Juliana. What year did you release that song? I cannot remember. I don't know the password to your song, or not just okay. If I still the website handle, I cannot remember the password, Juliana. Okada Books, Okada Books, Amazon. Please go and look for your password. Um, I'm saying this without mentioning the name. See, Juliana, in the one and a half years of your walking away, I'm sure you know there's no way I can make money for you. Whatever money your books have made on Okada Books is still with Okada Books, not with me. Whatever money your, mo your books have made from Amazon, Amazon still has. I have not taken a cover from you while I manage you as your dad and even after. Not that everything I'm living on and enjoying is the blessing of God. Um, we both know, in case people don't know, there's somebody in the U.S. whose account we used for your um, royalties from rebirth on amazon to be going to so you can please reach her okay reach her and ask her you know her i know her 
how much your royalty is now and let her send the money to you i'm not with your money okay i'm not with your money i don't have that then i need to mention something in case you go to your website juliana and find out that your website is dormant allidejuliana.com is dormant that is you click it you can't see it. your your domain name has expired juliana you did not know that we opened that site for you in 2017 every year i was renewing your website for you at my own cost you walked away it is no more my responsibility i expected your new manager to do that so i assume your new manager did not um what's the name did not um pay for your yearly subscription that is why your domain name has been lost okay juliana i served you and i did not tax you mama served you it's really a shame that you did this mama served you you know i was thankful to god you know let me share something to your fans and to the world when what happened happened gosh i want to cry right now but i'm not an actress like you i'll, I'll control my emotions when that thing happened on Sunday, the children were in the reception. David, Esther, and Samuel, that you grew up with, were in the reception. I was thankful that by the time you left, they didn't see the drama. But I didn't know how it happened. It was later in the day when one of my daughters, because I instructed, we, we told ourselves when you and your sisters left, that nobody should talk about it. So if anybody has got to my social media and all my daughters and sons' social media handles, you see we did not make any reference to what happened on Sunday because we felt it was irrelevant. Okay? I just got to find out when somebody was telling me about what happened, that the children heard my voice, they heard... The other voices too. They heard daddy was upset and some other people were shouting. And they wanted to come out. Thank God I'm celebrating you publicly. One of the members, her name is Daniela. God bless you, my dear. Saw that my children were about to come out. Because it would have been woeful for them to see Auntie Juliana. And the other aunties, whose names I will not mention, talk to D and Mama like that. It will be a picture they will remember for life that, what's this, what happened? Daniela saw that my children were about to come out and she took them back to the reception to watch cartoon. I had to send her a message and say, Daniela, thank you. I am glad Titi means never got to see that. Juliana, this was wrong of you and I'm saying it to the world. I do not have your passwords and I've explained why your Facebook page was unpublished. I meant no harm. God bless you. I know there are different opinions to this, but I just wanted to say the truth. I might be called a liar again, but if you think a little deeply, you know that I have nothing to hide. Juliana, I served you. I paid several bills for you that you didn't have to bother about. This was very wrong of you, Juliana. I don't have your passwords. Please go look for the books where you should have written them or wherever it is, or just try and remember. I don't want to begin to say your past, what it could be publicly, so that people don't begin to ask you. Please think deeply, what was it, what was it? I've hands off your career, okay? God bless you and God bless your career. And thank you to everybody that worked. So, I still had access to your Facebook because I believe I opened it from my page or your page. I cannot even remember whose page you used to open it. I don't know your password to your Facebook, Juliana. I can't remember it. Okay? So, um, what I did, Juliana, if I wanted to be mean, you're my daughter. Every father knows his daughter's secrets. Juliana, I know secrets about you the world does not know, but I will never tell the world. Why? It's wrong of me to divulge your personal secrets. So, if I wanted to get back at you in January last year, I would have done a post embarrassing you. I will have done a post telling the world about your flaws. I didn't. So, this is what I planned. And I told members of the church when I was apologizing to them for that post I did in January 2021. I'm sorry, January 2021, last year. I apologized to them for that mistake. What? Because I didn't expect the shock I got. You had changed your IG 
um, email, you have changed your um, email um, password, you have changed your IG password, I'm sorry, and you have changed your Gmail password. So I was like, okay, the only thing I have access to right now is Facebook. Not because I was going in, but because it was attached to my page. Anyone who has a page on Facebook knows that every page you have opened or that you're an admin automatically just shows in your profile, etc. Okay, um, so when that happened, the plan I had was, okay, I want Juliana to know that I still have access to this at Facebook oh. I was saying, I hope my daughter will come back and say D for everything I did. I'm sorry. And I'll say, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Take your Facebook. Let's make up. Let's, okay, let's have time with the TT means. Let's have a good time. Then I saw a shocker. And you posted on your page that I was hacking. And I was like, yeah, me, how? I've been posting for you. When did I become a hacker? Okay, um, so I unpublished. Juliana. I'm saying it on record. I could have deleted your Facebook page and nobody would ever find it. But I looked at it. We had built over 800,000 followers, over 300,000 likes. I'm like, no, Juliana will not lose her Facebook page. So I unpublished it. Why? We're not in talking terms. You've blocked me on Instagram. You've blocked me on WhatsApp. We're not in talking terms. So I just said, okay, I will unpublish it. And when we are good, I will hand over your Facebook page back to you. Okay, next thing I know is you don't reach me, you don't reach me. So it stayed unpublished, hoping that someday, Juliana, I could have deleted your Facebook page, but I did not. Why would I destroy something I built? Okay, so I unpublished it so that when we are good, you could publish back. For your Instagram page that I said went off, I don't know why it did. There must be some other explanation. Your Facebook page was created independently of your Instagram page. Your Facebook page has been unpublished since January 2021. Okay, January 2021. For those of you who knew when I did that post and I've apologized for it, that's like 12 months ago. Okay? So I don't know why it is in December. Um, I noticed that your last post was December 23rd. Why would Instagram disable your page because of that? And I noticed that I saw your comments on some of your sister's pages and posts around that time. And I noticed that just when you came to do all this drama, it's not like I'm stalking you. Okay, so I'm like, how were you really disabled by Instagram? Because Facebook should not affect Instagram for any reason. So I disabled because we're not in talking terms, so that when we were back, because you had called me a hacker and told people to report it. I couldn't reach you at that time, it was a mess. So I just unpublished it like, it is still yours, it's intact, let me keep it for you till you've calmed down and you ask me for it, and I'll give it back to you. So when I noticed on Sunday there about that you had recovered your page, I said, good, I don't know what tech guru do that for you but i'm glad you have your page back next thing you sent me the text message you did etc that you've confessed to doing i saw you in my church juliana you walked in uninvited i was talking with someone in my office at that time i saw you and i told the person to excuse me she left i told you to sit I told, I won't mention names uh, because I don't know who wants to be mentioned. I told all, you came with an entourage of sisters. I told all of them to sit. I asked for more chairs. We had put off the gen because we had finished service and the after service things. I told someone to go start the gen so that everything could be comfortable for whatever it is you came to see me for. Then you wanted to start a conversation with me and my daughter calls me by name. Nobody does that, Juliana. I didn't raise you like that. I'm, I'm sure Mommy Olayade will not be happy you did that, no matter how angry you are. You called me by name, and I was, and I said it. Now, by the way, you said you recorded. Because of the drama that has happened so far, I also recorded. So I have a full voice note recording of your visit, Juliana, till when all of you were walked out of the gate. 
and I was I told you to sit. You were sitting, one of your sisters was seated in my office, others were seated in the perimeter of the office. My wife was in the church. Everybody wondering why is Juliana here after one and a half years? And you call me Timilane to my face, Juliana. No, I raised you. I raised you. I wasn't going to take that. I will be a bad father. Even if I'm no more your father, I would not take such an insult. And I told you, the recording is there. Juliana, you cannot come to my own zone and insult me. I didn't come to your house. If I came to your house and you insult me, I will chop my shame and go. You came to my own territory and insulted me, calling me by name. And I said I wasn't going to take that. But the security man should walk you and your sisters out. And that's exactly what he did.